Hi there, April 10th, our first course update of the year. Uh, we've been busy uh, the last week slowly getting the tarps and uh, off the greens and them exposed. Today we're actually rolling up the Inca mat. So um, you can see I'm here out on the 14th hole. Uh, greens came through really well. The grass is looking really healthy and happy. Uh, so it's going to be a great start to the season and get growing in and uh, get these things filling in for us to open them. Um, out here on 14 approach, you can see the uh, bent grass and this approach looks really healthy as well. Uh, the lack of chlorophyll in, uh, in the turf is, uh, is a little tricky right now to tell how everything else came through. But the, the densities and everything on the on the golf course fairways and tees looks really good so uh, any of the damage will it'll start showing up if there was any uh, damage will start showing up as the plant starts breaking dormancy and coming out so uh, we're busy right now as I said pulling off the tarps off the greens right now um, and then Charlie's crews out here uh, starting to tune up some drainage and getting ready for the ground to thaw as well um, to get to uh, working so everything's uh, coming on we're looking a little bit early this year so uh, we're waiting for the frost to uh, leave the ground uh, there's still some snow and a few shady spots and uh, all the valve boxes out on the golf course uh, for the irrigation system are open and we're thawing them. So, uh, you know, another week of this weather for sure will uh, get us, uh, you know, deep enough that we can start charging up the irrigation system and get uh, uh, get on this golf course uh, to opening it up. So stay tuned. Uh, next Wednesday, we'll have a better idea of um, how things have uh, progressed this week and through the weekend and the weather forecast for next week. And we'll see, uh, how we'll have a real good idea probably when uh, we'll be able to get out here and start uh, playing some golf. So until then, have a great one.